It was a day after a session I had. I was recording a, a song that I had put out back then and I just wanted to finish up some guitar. I had my guitar with me and while my friend was mixing, just pressing down on the strings, it just, it hurt. My fingers were numb, but it hurt at the same time. I couldn't form a chord shape, and that's when it started to worry me a little bit more. With GBS, a lot of people just think it's the numbness. You might be sitting still, but your heart rate's over 120. <laughs> and I was kind of scared to get the IV put into me, and I blacked out. They had to almost use a defibrillator on me, but all I remember coming back to was just a pounding on my chest, and it was the doctor just literally punching my chest to get my heart back up. So I was in the hospital for about a week and a half until I was admitted into a rehab center. In that a rehab center, they had a chapel, and there was a piano in there, and I was with my mom, and I had her wheel me to the to that chapel. She had to open the that top of the piano, and I had no idea what I wanted to play, but I remembered a friend and I had made a song that really <laughs> spoke to me at that moment, and I attempted to play it, and when I couldn't even make the chord shape and press down on the keys, I kind of just broke down and started crying. The one thing that I love to do every day, that I look forward to every day, I couldn't do anymore. And that's what broke me. My grandma's name was uh, Betty Holmes. She was a huge part of my recovery process because when she was told she had cancer, the first time doctor said it was only six months. She only had six months. But three years later, <laughs> about, about three years later, um, she was still there. It was when my dad told me, this little old woman is too stubborn to die. That stuck around with me going through what I went through where my dad told me the same thing. I'm too, st I'm too stubborn to let it get to me. I pushed myself to get up out of my bed, out of my wheelchair, and a doctor saw me and she had told me, oh, you're walking around right now. And I'm like, yeah, it's still pretty hard, but you know, I have my walker, I'm pushing myself to do it. And she's like, you're stubborn, aren't you? And I'm like, yeah, it's, I get it from my grandma. And she's like, you'll be fine. Just give it a couple months. You'll be back to your old self. My grandma was too stubborn to literally let a stroke and full-on cancer <laughs> kill her. <laughs> and that stays with me even after me getting sick. It stays with me in different parts of my life. So it actually took me a while to become creative again. <laughs> it was actually me waiting to buy a new guitar because I thought I owed it to myself after what I went through. I'm gonna buy myself a brand new guitar. New guitar sitting in my hands. I'm gonna play it. So I strummed. I played the first song I ever learned how to play. It was Bulls on Parade by Rage Against the Machine. And it felt good to get a guitar back in my hands and play. Juxtaposed to me not being able to play my own song on piano, I was able to finish a full song. It felt that I couldn't lose it felt so natural to do and it felt fitting because the first song I learned it just felt like the first time I played guitar all over again I feel like this experience has impacted my music career in a very positive way actually <laughs> with getting sick that really put it all into perspective to where there's no way that I'm not gonna not let myself get to my goals. My end game is to do what I want, is to make music for a living. Since then, a lot of amazing stuff has happened and I don't think I've changed anything from that point on.